Welcome to Rodas Black Metal Reviews. I'm Jerry, and this time I'll guide you through a couple of Finnish black metal bands which are, I guess, less known. Well, underground it is, so let's turn it in. This is a split between Kalmanganda and Somber Winds. Now, Kalmanganda should be not uh, should not be a uh, unknown act because they have done already dozens and dozens of releases throughout the years, and being mostly a one-man project, this kind of a bedroomish take on things might actually be the reason for it. Somber Winds then again is a uh, full band and uh, even though there is a mastermind Primus Motor behind the band it's still a full lineup versus Kalmanganta being one man here alone. Now throughout the years Kalmanganta has had few vocalists uh, including the main man of the band so there has been variation from release to release but the main style has always been roughly the same atmospheric black metal or like a lot of people would probably say the same sub school as Burzum with its uh, rather naturalistic take on atmospheric black metal. Be this may this is split featuring half and half songs from both bands and they are a little bit alike but also there are differences. Now if you go to uh, uh, band's Bandcamp site, uh, sorry, Metal Archive site, uh, you will not see even this latest album listed here. So it's that fresh from the oven, maybe it will be there later on. But at this point, unfortunately, not listed. But at least it gives you a little bit of idea how does Kalman uh, Kanta discography look like. I mean, you really have to be a hardcore fan to go through all of these releases, to listen to all of and all that stuff. Now, Somber Winds, then again, is a little bit different, obviously, uh, being from the same city. And here it mentions only the EP from 2016, which I got to review back in the days. So both bands seem to lack the latest album. I mean, of course, it would be on both sides if worse, but nonetheless. So very, very different in terms of discography. Here it is, one release, and the other side, well, dozens and dozens. Now, Somber Winds style is more rough in terms of black metal certainly somewhat melodic somewhat atmospheric but also more i guess what i you would call definition of a second wave black metal in so many ways there are parts where it just goes a little bit all beyond the borders of that but still roughly said goes with the uh, same box as kalamanga and that just with more i guess melodies more driven uh, by riffs in that sense now uh because of the nature of similarities and differences, this MCD, not MCD, split makes in a way sense and then again it doesn't really. For example, Kalman Ganta style has always been this soothing style. And because of these very atmospheric parts, it very, very easily falls into the discography of other Kalman Ganta releases. And I would say this ain't no the best nor the worst of Kalman Ganta, but rather mediocrity in that sense. Quite okay, to be honest, but I find the vocals are now weaker than what they used to be, and too much effects, I would say, in play. Also, some of the riffs and what sounds like a drum machine isn't really doing the trick. I mean, it's not annoying, but it just gives me a little bit of demo-like feeling. Then again, that goes very much hand-in-hand hand with Somber Wind style, because that is very, very crude demo-like thing uh, to begin with. I mean, it's all the way through very, very demo-ish. Whether we're talking about songwriting, which seems to be more on the miss side of hit side of things, and the very crude um, production, which is almost like, how come there is nobody to point out that this doesn't really sound raw nor powerful? So it's more like you're picking the worst of both worlds. I'm saying this, if you don't go for powerful, you know, super production, then at least go for the sense of rawness, the otherworldly feeling with it. And this is like neither. I mean, it's sounding very much like you're recording your first or second, I don't know, demo of all times. Now, it might be the second release by this band, but then again, this band has been there for more than 10 years. One could figure out like maybe with the experience they could have reached something else. So maybe this is intentional. I don't know, but it lacks the power in my opinion. What it, when it comes to songwriting, it kind of lacks these kind of riffs, which is really, really good. It's almost like the melodies are like quite okay, but not really captivating. They don't really go deep into the emotions. They're halfway through. And when it comes to the less melodic parts, you know, the atmospheric, it's almost like 
you're not going deep enough into the forest. You're like going halfway and like, okay, let's go home. So my point here is, it's not really violent, it's not really raw, it's not really atmospheric, but it's not really dark either. So it's kind of a fall in between kind of a black metal, lacking the essence, lacking the power and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing I hate on this album. I just find it rather, rather a lack of passion, to be honest. It sounds like there's a lack of focus, maybe with more songwriting people rather than the main man, and it would work better. I don't know. To be honest, I wish the band would like suddenly figure it out and then make magnificent next release. But so far, these two uh, releases, the split side of this and the Hermetic Path EP, I'm not too uh, optimistic and hopeful for that. But prove me wrong and I'll be a happy camper. Now, if you go to check out the band in question, if you don't find the links uh, to these individual releases, maybe they will appear at some point on social media, whatever. But anyway, I will be linking the Metal Archive site for both bands and I'll try to find the Bandcamp site. So it might be there or might be not. And if I haven't gotten it yet, well, let's hope that by the time this review goes out a couple of weeks after I've done the video, that will be there for your listening pleasure and you get to decide whether you like it or not. Now, off you go and looking forward to your comments as always. Take care.